Welcome back to AgriTalk in Louisville, Kentucky at the National Farm Machinery Show. A huge crowd with great weather, and this really is a time for people to kind of get out of the house, if you will, and, and shake off cabin fever, and especially with the winter so many of us have had this year, and just to be out where there's no snow and ice is a great feeling. And it's time to start thinking about planting season and the springtime, and we're going to do that here on our program now as we broadcast from the Case IH exhibit. Cindy Punky is with us. We want to talk about precision farming, and Cindy, um, as we look ahead to planting season, not that far away, what do you want to? What do you want farmers to focus on when we talk about precision farming? Well, you know, right now it's a great time for customers to be thinking about uh, what all do they want to do this spring? You know, are they wanting to add different products to their planters? Uh, nothing worse than uh, coming up about the 15th of April, uh, a week before they decide to put it in the ground and decide that they want to do things. So now is really the time to get down to the show, you know, get out to see your dealers and find, uh, find out more about those products that we have to be able to improve the precision of your planting. And what would some of those be? Uh, probably some of the hottest things right now um, is variable rate application. We're seeing a lot more farmers uh, get into variable rate planting, uh, variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizing, and all types of applications. We're here mid-February. Don't know when planting season is going to start for folks, hopefully sooner rather than later, but if they made those decisions now, could they get those things done? Oh, absolutely. That uh, our dealers are, are ready and and waiting right now basically for customers to make those decisions about you know what type of, of uh, things that they want to add to their planters or to their tractors this year. Um, you know we've got lots of new products uh, this year as well as some of the things that are just really coming on. Uh, one of them is the uh, suction control for planters has gotten to be very big. About three years ago you know guys just started dabbling in it and over the years we're getting more and more requests for being able to shut off down to one row at a time. That is amazing and how quickly that is taking hold. I guess we're just starting to apply some of that to our planters now. Yes, and you know we can do that uh, with both our planters and uh, competitive planters as well. So it's nice that uh, you know if you're if you're just uh, you know if you're a Case IH customer or if you're a mixed fleet customer, how we can work with those products uh, to blend your blend your system together. And let's talk about the advantages. What can be gained by using some of these products? Oh, well, section control is, is obviously one of those big things that because we're able to shut off on the ends more quickly, not overlap going through the fields, things like that, with the with the price of seed the way it's gotten to be, uh, we gain a considerable amount of savings there as well as some yield impact as well by not overplanting. So you know, when a farmer's looking at making that investment, they can look at, okay, here's what it can save me and how it can pay for itself. Right, and that's one of the things that our dealers um, and we do here on the Case IH lot is go through a return on investment calculator with the customer, show them that by adding this system to your planter, how quickly does it pay you back? The important thing is that customers know, you know, how quickly that investment's gonna, gonna pay them back. And as you said, with, with the costs, input costs as they are today, and with commodity prices as they are today, uh, probably can get that return on investment pretty quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Uh, take, for an example, a, a farmer with 1,600 acres with a 16-row planter. Uh, the return on investment to put row shutoffs down to two rows at a time is about 1.1 years. Back here at the Case IH exhibit at the uh, National Farm Machinery Show, talking with Cindy Punky with uh, Case IH. So, a lot of different products for precision farming applications to their planters. Talk to their Case IH dealer now and they can start using them, taking advantage of them this planting season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no time like the present. The technology is there to be able to pay you back so much more quickly. Um, so definitely make sure that you start taking advantage of those. Great. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you. All right, Cindy Punky with Case IH. We are broadcasting from their exhibit here at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Huge opening day crowd. And of course, uh, it goes on through Saturday, as we heard earlier, with Harold Workman and uh, the big uh, tractor pulls throughout the week with the finale on Saturday. Let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk much more with folks from Case IH. We're going to talk tractors and combines and much, much more. So stay with us from the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. It's halftime on AgriTalk. <laughs> 